from number one on day one of 2022 to number 101 right here Friday on East Kentucky Street. It's been three straight years for Louisville facing triple digit homicides, a statistical feat the city has never seen before. January 1st in Highview, crime scene tape flashing lights, not even a full 24 hours into the new year. It's never a good thing. You get the phone call from your officers that says, hey boss, we just had another one. Louisville's first homicide of 2022. 35-year-old Thaddeus Hudson shot dead inside his car. It would mark a continuation of high crime trends in the city, one that wouldn't let up anytime soon. It's unreal. It's almost unreal bearable circumstances felt by countless families this year losing mothers, daughters. But you can truly never know how it feels. Fathers and sons. This thing is spread like a cancer. Happening at all times of day in all places. It's a little like surreal because that kind of stuff doesn't always happen in your backyard. Things have changed. People used to have the conversation, well, that's happening on one side of town. Now spread it to all the divisions. LMPD's latest homicide data shows every one of its eight divisions have investigated at least three homicides this year, with most looking into many more. It's saddening, but it also speaks to the gravity of the problem. Countless lives lost just seven months into a year, which followed two years, which marked the two highest death tolls in the city's history. That really stands out to me, that in two years and seven months, we have tallied up nearly 500 lives lost to fatals. That's not good for a mid-sized city. Then we get the end results. A city still looking for ways to curb violence. LMPD says detectives have solved 40% of this year's homicides, but Christopher Tuex says it won't just take law enforcement, but the community to fix the longstanding issue. In Louisville, Connor Steffen, WHAS 11, on your side.